Good morning and welcome to Tuesday's Sofa Talk. Today's topic is how in the world did I move to Turkey? Why did I move to Turkey? Like what was my decision? Why did I do this? And today I want to explain you about this because I think if you follow oh my god um hello today i want to take you with me a little bit on um, a journey that i'm going to take today the day i decided to move to turkey wow i remember this day as if it was yesterday but actually it was nine years ago and i want to tell you a little bit about it because sometimes the tiniest moments can change your whole life and this is exactly what happened in my life this happened to me nine years ago it was 2012 i watched a movie with my mom and this movie was called temuzda in july from fatih Akin. usually i used to watch movies with my mom a lot and back in the days there were like these free dvds that you got in the magazines and my mom would always get this magazine to watch a new movie with me so that's exactly what we did and this week's movie was in July from Fatih Akin. I was super excited to watch this movie and in this movie for the first time in my life I actually noticed Istanbul. Like I've never seen Istanbul in a movie before and I was like mesmerized, I was amazed. I was like seeing this drone shot at the end from the Bosphorus bridge. I was like oh my god Istanbul is beautiful like why have i never like thought about it and of course there's a big turkish influence in germany so i was like this is like how turkey looks like i couldn't believe it it didn't look like kreuzberg in berlin or neukölln you know like it was different like of course it's, it's a different country but at this time i was 18 years old i never really traveled and it was for the first time in my life that i had this inner urge to go to Turkey. So we watched this movie, my mom and me, and in this movie, two Germans are hitchhiking from Hamburg to Istanbul. Do you know when you watch movies and when you're done watching them, you feel like, wow, my life is so boring. Like, I want to experience the same thing these people experience in the movies. So this is exactly how I felt after watching this film. And to me, it was, like a calling I don't know how to explain it but something inside of me told me when these two people can hitchhike to Istanbul why can I not do it and it was a super crazy thought but somehow like something inside of me told me okay you need to change your life you need to do something exciting with your time otherwise you will stay home watching movies for the rest of your life which is nice I appreciate it but you know what I mean. I wanted to have a more exciting time. And at this time, I just finished high school. I was 18 years old. I already had a job, but this job started six months later. So I had like six months free time, which was amazing. It was like, yes, this is exactly what I needed. I needed a wake up call, what to do with this free time. So then the question inside of me appeared, how to get to Turkey? How can I go from Germany to Turkey? Because I was 18, I barely spoke English, um, I had no money at all, and my parents obviously were not happy with this decision at all. First of all, I didn't tell them that I had the plan to go abroad or even to go to Turkey. It was clear, I had to find a job in Turkey. This is the only way to survive, to get money. Oh my god, this is beautiful. So then I asked myself, how do I get a job in Turkey? As an 18 year old German who doesn't speak Turkish or perfectly English. So I got this idea to find a babysitter job in Turkey, in Istanbul. And there actually was a website called opairworld.com where I signed up. And I wasn't quite sure if this was like a serious website or not, but I wanted to try this out because I didn't have a lot of options, to be honest. Wow. So I looked for families that would like to host me in Istanbul. I sent so many applications. I wrote so many messages to different families in Istanbul and one family actually replied and accepted my 
application. This family offered to buy my flight tickets to Istanbul and also to pay me a weekly salary. At this time I was really, like really suspicious because you know um, I didn't want to risk anything but at the same time it was the only option that I had at 50 euros or something like this. I didn't even have a credit card or a real bank account. It was just really risky to go abroad for such a long time, six months. But anyways, um, I was in touch with this family that invited me over to Turkey and to be a babysitter for their son who wanted to learn German. So my only job was to speak German with the child. So in August 2012, I hopped on a flight from Berlin to Istanbul and oh my god i had so much luggage i had like a huge suitcase and <laughs> i was so unprepared i didn't know what to expect and my parents they were not happy with it i was like completely on my own i remember my first expressions when i landed in turkey my first days my first weeks in turkey i was overwhelmed i remember i landed at Sabia Gökçen in Istanbul and I was like so amazed. It was so modern and everything was huge. It looked so shiny. I was like, oh my God, this is Turkey? Of course, reality hit me like I had a huge culture shock. I knew nothing about Turkey. I didn't know anything about um, the culture, the religion, nothing. Like it was completely new to me and I had to learn all of this by myself because I didn't have a smartphone, I didn't have internet with me, so it was not like, oh, there is something I would just Google and get information about how we do it today. It was like different 10 years ago. I didn't stay with this au pair family for too long because I was just too shy and introverted that it didn't make sense to be a babysitter who had the responsibility to speak a lot with the child. I had to leave Turkey after 90 days. I spent all my tourist visa in Turkey. Eventually I went back to Germany and after these 90 days I spent five years of my life to get an education. I traveled the world, I lived in other countries. I had a successful life in Germany but there was not a single day that I did not think of the possible life that I could live in Turkey. You know, moving to another country is scary and I had so many doubts about what if this doesn't work out, what if I do not find a job, what if I will be unhappy, maybe um, these 90 days were just like a honeymoon phase and I wouldn't feel the same again when I came back. It's so hot here, like 40 degrees, and my camera couldn't do it anymore. Okay, 2018, I actually emigrated to Turkey. It was the time I decided to leave Germany for good and to actually try this new chapter of my life, to try this out. But of course, this decision was not made from one day to the other. It took me like over five years to really like think about this every day and to think about is this the country where I want to spend a long time of my life in or not and after five years I decided yes I have to try this out I do not want to spend any more time just thinking about it I actually have to do it Whoa. after it was clear for me okay Turkey is the country I want to spend some more time of my life in it took me one additional year of thinking and planning until I actually felt comfortable to leave Germany for good. And before moving to any country, I need two things. First of all, I need financial security and second of all, I need a visa. So these were the two things that I was focusing on in the year of planning before I actually emigrated to Turkey in 2018. I saved so much money that I could live on a student budget for six months in Istanbul and I also applied for a student visa in Istanbul so that I had some time in Turkey to get everything going and as you know there is a Turkish German University in Istanbul so this is exactly where I applied 
this university accepted me to study the master at their university. So this is exactly what I did when I moved to Turkey. I had a plan, I had something to focus on, I had some money set aside and I felt like I was ready to leave Germany. It was a big step in my life because it was the first time ever that I deregistered myself from everything in Germany. I cancelled the health insurance, um, I said goodbye to my apartment, I said goodbye to the address on my personal advice. So these are all the things um, that I had to cancel before moving to another country. But to be honest, it wasn't that complicated. Like there are so many good websites out there these days that help you going through this process and also Facebook groups helped me a lot. These are some really good resources when you feel lost or when you just want to see how others are doing it. I'll be honest with you, the first two years in Istanbul were really hard. I had no money. I didn't find a job in the first two years of living in Turkey. Um, I didn't really know what to do. I was always the friend that had no money or it was not possible for me to like live a comfortable life. I moved so many places. I lived in so many different neighborhoods. Like Mejdiyeköy, Talabashe, Piketepe, Kadiköy. Um, I really tried out everything, couch surfing. I shared apartment with so many people. I lived in really shady neighborhoods. I felt uncomfortable, but I was never unhappy. I was always looking forward to the next step. I always wanted to learn more about Turkey, Turkish and everything that would make my life easier hopefully in the future. For me it was a big learning experience and a time of my life where I was so independent like never before. Like everything that I did I was the only person responsible for that. Things got better when I decided to do what I love to do. Becoming a video maker was always something in my life that I wasn't sure of because it's a very unpredictive job. You never really know like will you get job offers, how much is your salary. Like as a video maker you are your own boss, you are your own manager and it's just a very unpredictive kind of job. And if there's one thing that I learned during these two years of moving to Turkey then it's you cannot plan life. But one thing is sure, it just goes on. No matter how little money you have, no matter where you live, no matter what you do with your life, life goes on and you will always find a way out of your situation. Moving from Germany to Turkey was the most uncomfortable, scary, but liberating thing that I've ever done in my life. I would always do it again. And no matter if you're moving to Turkey or any other country, it will never be easy. There will always be obstacles in your way. But you should be aware that you are the only person who can overcome these obstacles. There's nobody else doing this for you. And it's just a very big learning experience.